to Northumbrian Waters Derwent Reservoir and once again British Cycling's elite men's and women's road race series is back in town with Northumbrian Waters Alexandria Tour of the Reservoir and Northumbrian Waters Tour of the Reservoir. But there isn't just cycling to be done here, there's also sailing, fishing and indeed walking too. We've seen some fantastic racing over the last couple of days. Women's racing has come on leaps and bounds and it's just the ideal sort of course really that we need to develop women's racing. And also today, uh, this afternoon for the men, we've had a, a long breakaway uh, that's now coming back together. So it really just shows that even a two minute lead on a course like this, it's maybe not enough because the course is so tough. It's fantastic to see this um, event take place around Derwent. Uh, last year we had the Tour of Britain in the county of Northumberland and um, you know I think this is the kind of event which obviously produces riders who move on to do that sort of thing and it's great for them to come and use our assets to do that it brings them to life, it gives them another use other than just being part of the general water supply and you know as a company we're really committed and enjoy having our customers and other people and visitors from around the county and the region to come and use our reservoirs, see what they're all about, get out into the countryside and why wouldn't you want to do that and what a fantastic day to do that, it's been a really exciting day. Grace Garner for Podium Ambition Club La Santa was top of the podium, followed by Melissa Lother from Team Breeze and Charlene Joyner for Team Ford EcoBoost in third. In the men's competition, Tom Moses from JLT Condor took the leader's spot, with Jonathan McAvoy from Team NFTO and Joe Fry of Pedal Heaven just behind him. The Northumbrian Water Tour of the Reservoir was a tough affair, with the weather conditions being very challenging. But for double Olympic gold medalist Ed Clancy, the race at Derwent is still a favourite. Northumbrian Water Tour of the Reservoir is one of my favourite races, to be fair. I do like this circuit. It uh, always makes good races. Um, the weather's always a bit hit and miss, which can bring a, another element into it, but uh, no, it's one of my favourites. So congratulations to the winners of day one, but there was plenty more business in the saddle to be had with the start of stage two. Let's see how the action panned out. Alice Barnes for 100% Me Team crossed the line victorious in stage two, followed by Nikki Juniper of Ford EcoBoost and Lucy Shaw of Drop Cycling Team behind her. Overall, the Northumbrian Water Alexandria Tour of the Reservoir was won by Nikki Juniper and Team Ford EcoBoost from Essex. Congratulations, Nikki. You're the overall winner. I am. Yeah, really happy. It was two stages. Um, we led Charlene Joyner out yesterday to get a third on podium to put ourselves in a good position today. And I come second in the in the sprint of a small breakaway of about 12 to take the overall on GC. So really happy. Eric Rousel of Team Madison Genesis was the winner of the men's stage two, followed over the line by Dexter Gardias and James Gullen, both from Pedal Heaven. The overall Northumbrian Water Tour of the Reservoir winner was Joe Fry of Pedal Heaven. Joe, you must be thrilled to have been the overall winner. Yeah, absolutely ecstatic. Just the whole work the team's done. It just really glad I could I could repay them for given everything and sacrificing their own races for me, so I'm really happy to, to pay it off like that. The men's and women's road race series has provided quite a colourful spectacle for visitors to Derwent Reservoir this weekend, but there's plenty more to do if you want to come on another weekend, including sailing, fishing, walking and also bird watching as well. To find out about visiting details to Derwent Reservoir, why not check out Northumbrian Waters website nwl.co.uk and we'd love to see you here sometime soon. Mm -hmm.